Hi, so it's Candy. Um, I was asked on my Instagram if I would do videos uh, at request, and one of the videos requested was about blogger shoots. Now, these are influencer shoots sometimes called, um, social media content creation shoots, um, and how I go about them, but more about how I actually do the shoots. So, first thing I want to tell you is that every influencer, blogger, content creator has their own style and niche. You need to speak to them and don't be afraid to sort of just have those conversations, and this happens Generally, in my line of work, when I do the questionnaire with them, I send them a little questionnaire to tell me more about it. And one of the important things you want to know is what they're going to use the images for. Because while they may use them on their social media, the brand or the company that have sent them the garments, if that has happened in this case, um, may want to use the images. So you need to have that in your photo shoot agreement as well. The other thing you need to be mindful of is that a lot of influencers um, have brand deals and you they kind of not always, but sometimes think that you'll happily hand the images over. You need to discuss this with every single one of your bloggers and clients that you work with uh, and just make sure that you're not going to be blindsided essentially when this does come through. The other thing to think about is while a lot of it is still on Instagram, a lot of them will put them on websites. So they need to have orientations that work for that. So often with a blog, it will be a landscape orientation as Instagram is the four by five or the full screen now. So please bear in mind with updates. But remember, for me, influencer shoots, blogger shoots, if they're about the garments that they're wearing, like it's the outfit that we're just looking at, it's a mixture of a portrait and a slight e-commerce angle. So you have to get a picture of the whole outfit, maybe the outfit in motion, showing it moving, lifestyle shots, and then just close-up details in both orientation, landscape and portrait. But also remember, they might actually use it for copy, so you might have to zoom in and out. So zoom in now. You might have to crop so like they're here, but then all of this is like free space for them to write, or maybe it's here and free space there. Also, one of the top tips I have found that if you can chuck in a little bit of videography on the side, even if it's just with your mobile phone, do that. But one thing I've learned, a lot of companies want their brand photos to look like someone's taking them on their phone. I was paid a lot of money by a company to shoot some of their influencers with just my mobile phone. So don't think everything has to be done on your digital camera, your big, big, or your mirrorless, whatever it is you're using. Sometimes using it on your point and shoot and even your camera phone can help you. And I know that certain people do like that aesthetic. When you know that a a blogger or an influencer has a deal with say let's just put it out of the air fast fashion one uh, pretty little thing they've got a thing pretty thing go on to pretty little thing social media and see what kind of poses and style that they like to use obviously your client knows what they want to use but if they are ultimately going to send that on to that company it kind of does have to fit in with what their aesthetic is their styling is okay so just bear that in mind i'm going to take you on a shoot with myself uh, with myself and Kerry you've already seen Kerry in a number of my shoots just to show you going through it now Kerry has purchased all these items herself I know she'll tag the companies in so the background detail on that contract if you like with the brand deals is is all sorted uh, but we do we are going to go through like it is a normal blogger shoot so be aware you need to be careful of how the outfit's worn um, some brands don't like being worn with other brands they like it just all themselves so you there's all these little things you play into but remember the focus can switch between the influencer themselves as the personality but also about the brand so you have to make sure you have it in the back of the head that you still need to highlight the clothing as well as the person because that's basically what an influencer is so come with me so, as I said, Kerry's joined me. And you <laughs> I will link her own uh, YouTube, so go check her out. That'll be in the description below. So we're just here in Northampton at the race course. Now, this is quite a typical place. People shoot a lot of content. I think it's quite overused. There's lots of places you can shoot, though. But just for this, we're going to ignore the fact that we could have got a better location to show you what we would shoot. So there's a basketball court there. Although, it, when I say there's people on it, there is people on it. And I don't think it's fair to take over a court for social media content photo shoot so we're not doing that although i would normally <laughs> um but we would move if someone wanted it obviously so we're just going to head up to the pathway it's starting to rain so we're going to do this quick so come along i forgot what i was going to do because <laughs> you're watching me when you're going out to do your shoot with your client you kind of have to be mindful that the main focus is actually being the garments and the person thanks dog so <laughs> Be mindful, but also carry light because you might be in places that you can't keep a close eye on your kit and you'll sort of be lugging loads around. There are people who will bring the lighting and stuff, but for me, I'm very minimal kit. I have it all in this bag here. 
which is all open I was buying an emo bag um, I will link them in the description below very handy they don't even look like camera bags except obviously if your camera strap hanging out um, I tend to use 24 to 70 and a 50 mil because I need to get a little bit of separation but also 50 mil is kind of the easiest way for me to look for what I prefer when you are scouting location please liaise with your client they might know of an area that works try and get a, an environment that either like is juxtapositioned into what they wear so they really stand out or complement don't just make do it's so quick and easy just to jump in like some fielded bit but to be honest it's it's done quite a lot and you need it to stand out on social media and answer the clients to check what the client's branding is what they like to use but also consider what your client is already shot in so do some research Another tip is what type of season you're shooting in. So if you are shooting autumn stuff, um, you want to make sure it looks autumnal, right? So we're coming up to the Halloween period if you're watching this when it's first released. So you might be looking at more golden hues. As you can see, the leaves are starting to change here. So think about that. But, but also remember that can make it the product date and it doesn't necessarily provide evergreen content for your client or the brand evergreen content is is content they can be used regardless of the time of year so obviously we're looking for a place to shoot and as this is about drawing the viewer in which is what social media content is you'll notice here that there's a gap here with a nice space where the branches of this tree make a frame and we've got a little bit of leading lines towards kerry so if she's posed here we can just now ideally i would like to be somewhere else but it's raining and we're just doing this for educational purposes so here's kerry she's going to get position into that little place there and we're going to use just a little bit more along little one do you see now a tiny fragment of a step that way and stop so there you are perfect so if you see now Kerry is perfect between this branch and this branch so when I do a photo she is going to be the main she pops off the background obviously she's a little bit dark here but I'm using some of my video camera so this is what we're doing we're looking for something that makes Kerry pop off because the main focus is her outfit but her as a personality so these will be the personality shots and then we'll go in for the details be it the shoes the rings that she's got on her glasses and we'll do shots there and we'll try and keep them in but we have to do landscape and portrait orientations and even full screen which is the 9 by 16 crop thanks to the updates on social media now some brands will reach out to you and they want you to shoot it as if a blogger themselves are taking it. So while you still have your professional eye, quite often they'll ask you not to use your pro camera. I've shot content for brands on my mobile phone, but often I'll whack out this little mirrorless that I carry with me. It's a great little camera to get it and it can give a slightly different editing style and also just show it's, it's not as detailed, so it kind of feels more relatable to the viewer. It's a very clever marketing trick. When I say we shoot the outfit, right, so start off we can see the detail on her Ray-Bans here. So we're going to capture those. We've also got the emblem here, but we can choose where we get that. But I would say get that, have it in both portrait and landscape. Now, as you go through the outfit, you want to get, make, look at the detail that she's chosen. So this is her new necklace, right? With that necklace, we could take a picture of it just like that. But then we get Carrie to hold it like we did. And then we can take shots of her holding it, playing with it, and we get more of a detail. And we can even capture all of them in together. So this is an outfit shot, but then zoom in for the detail shot for both the ring and the jewels. If they're separate designers, we can actually just zoom in on this and then use this as a point of focus or make the jewelry the point of focus. Or if it's all about her eclectic style, we could do all of them. Well. Oh, and look, details on the back. So, uh, a lot of brands are asking for more video content because social media has now said video is king. So, while photos are great, make sure you cap some either some stop animation, so a succession of pictures that can be put together for a video, or you actually video some stuff. So we found this walkway with Kerry. Now, obviously, I'm going to shoot low down because I want all that sky. The sky is quite dramatic despite it being an overcast day. It is still raining. Kerry's been an absolute troop. But we've got the leading lines and also this framing, which will give the viewer a chance to look at it a little bit more. Please be mindful of where your bags are because ours are there, which we probably need to bring closer to us another thing to, to remember unless you're actually in an environment that is part of the photo shoot deliberately such as you're at a restaurant and you need to get pictures of that it makes sense to be a little bit further away from your model however when it comes to clothing fashion brands and blogging you need to make sure they take up a lot more space in the frame it's called the real retail space so <laughs> We have to get a whole lot closer to our model. Sometimes really close. <laughs> Thanks for being a trooper, Kerry. Remember to play with your angle. Shoot low down because that sky can act as a nice uh, background to make your client stand out more. Don't forget to shoot some portraits. Um, make sure you get some evergreen content. Movement shots are always popular, always good to get. And use your mobile phone wide angle and low. Make sure you get different crops of details. 
here you'll see me using the backpack and getting loads of different angles and crops on it to show it so you can use it on her social media platforms but also on any blogs that she do but also be good for brand and using it for copy on the side so you can write on the image did you just call me a short ass? Me a short ass. Oh, it's good lot. I'm taller than you, bitch. Okay, this is from Kerry and I. We finished the shoot. Um, Kerry, short ass Kerry. Hey, yeah, yes, they are. What's that? Goodbye in Korean. She's learning Korean. Only Kerry would go, oh, I'm just picking up Korean. <laughs> As ever, don't forget to like, subscribe. Thank you so much. Um, if you've got any more requests for videos, please message me on all the platforms. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.